stand for a society that is youth inclusive, that is youth enabling, that is youth engaging, so that we have young people at the center of transformation. And this informs our choice to host the Youth Mood Parliamentary Session 2018 under the theme Safe Spaces for Youth. We would like to see a safe and open space for young people to be able to present their issues without fear. Creating space like this one gives an opportunity for young people to take interventions on climate change. Having entered with the right Honorable uh, Rebecca Kadaga uh, in the chambers and uh, her having given me her chair and taken a back bench to watch me take on this and be in charge of the session. It gave me a privilege and a feeling that if young people can be given the spaces that they need, political spaces, economic spaces, we surely can take charge of this uh, count. This parliamentary session is going to give young people, of course, to discuss issues, diversity of issues, and climate change is one of them. Equality in terms of job access, but also to ask the parliamentarians to, to speed up the process of uh, the sexual offences. Young people being involved in decision making, in governance processes and involvement. Safe spaces for young people in employment, safe spaces for young people while they participate in democratic spaces without necessarily being economically infringed. When government is making decisions, the youth should be directly involved in decision making both local and national levels. We look at this International Youth Day celebration as an opportunity to have a spotlight on these various issues um, from the digital spaces to the civic spaces to uh, the political spaces, even the public spaces for meaningful intergenerational dialogue. Young people, especially those that are coming from rural areas, they deserve uh, spaces whereby each and one of their uh, different potentialities, each one of their brilliance is celebrated. It is up to us as uh, different sta stakeholders to ensure that these spaces are very safe for these young people, especially for those that, come, uh, that are coming from the rural areas. Do we have that young woman who's coming from Kotido to come and speak about issues that are affecting her? Because in our community you find that someone working in the office in, as a, an, employee, an, an employee, to admit you, you will first, if a man, you will first do what? You will first want to, to, uh, to have sex with you, then he, 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 he admit you as, a, as to work in that office. If you, someone rapes you, if you defile, you feel like you're worthless, you feel like you, you cannot no longer be, be part of the community, you feel like an, you, you, you be like an outcast, you know, and you want to be in that dark place, you want to be in that silent place, you don't want to associate with people. So it's one thing that really puts, puts the, young, the young girls, the women, it puts, it puts them down and they feel like they should not be around anybody. Young girls in schools are sexually violated at places of work, and worst of all, in our communities. If she's sexually harassed, she cannot stand. You will agree with me that it's critical and it's important that the sexual offense to be is passed. I'm waiting for the sexual offense to be. I have designated the first meeting of the third session for this session. The Exercise Duty Amendment 2018 receded specifically the over-the-top tax needs to be off. There's been a reduction in the number of people using mobile money and the other platforms. I would think that the government, if it's thinking for the best of us, should scrap off the tax. Instead of being able to improve the digital spaces for young people, give them more opportunities, what we are doing is curtailing their ability to access these opportunities. It's like a 21st century item that people use. Before there were letters and stuff and things like that, but today it's their thing that now when you pull it out, it's like you're withdrawing their voice. We need to see a government is able to reach out to social media. The past issue is that the law and we move, and most importantly, we fight the cause of young people being able to start businesses and save this. We must address the issue of poverty among the young people. This morning, I 
and of course it's a different minimum wage that will reduce the 80% reported growth and ecosystem pay among youths in Uganda. From the cost of starting a business in Uganda, where are the young people to get one wage? The cost of doing business and also the bureaucracy. Yes, the eight months of growth, where are the streets of Europe? Hey, and how many places do you have to go? As a young girl engaged in the political space, I was quite engaged in the discussion and participation of young, young women and men in the political space in Uganda. Uh, the discussion caught my eye and I was quickly motivated to realize that even when we cry for space, there are certain things that needed to have changed between uh, amongst us as youths. I think that political space is critical for good governance and democracy in the country. And that's why they are here. And that we shall continue to call upon you to provide for us safe and secure space and youth friendly that we can be able to speak about our issues. young people getting into that space and being able to communicate to their legislators about their economic needs, political needs, social needs, and also developmental needs. And together, we'll be shaping the good of this country, we'll be shaping the good of Africa that we want, Africa that works for everyone, but most importantly, Africa that works for young people. So we say no to a social media tax, no to the OTT tax, no to taxes, to policies that curtail opportunities for young people and appeal to all the corridors of power to promote policies that actually empower uh, young people and provide for youth development. Just sitting there and discussing and sharing was enough space for one time for us to feel, yes, our views are being heard. We are looking forward to meaningful participation of young people, young men and women in political and governance processes to ensure that there is inclusive development in our country. Let's claim that space. Let's take opportunity. Whether you are in the rural area or urban area, let's take opportunity of that space.